Welcome to uh, Auto Magic Adventures. Today we have something really fun planned. Um, so I'm going to the coast as a solo trip. I've got some ideas. So I've got a bunch of rods I'm taking with me. Um, I've got those little clamshell like castable crab traps I'm gonna take with some chicken. So I'm, while I'm fishing the jetty, I'm gonna also be like throwing out for crabs, see if I can catch a crab or two. So I got that going on today. Um, I'm actually gonna stop and buy one of those uh, pump guns to pump shrimp. And I'm gonna see if I can catch my own bait today. I should be getting there right around low tide, so it should be awesome for that. Um, hey, one thing, I don't know if you, if you guys, for some reason I have showed up on your uh, For You page or your channel or, or whatever you call that. So I would be willing to bet if you don't subscribe or like this video, you probably won't see me again. So if you wanna check out some of my other stuff, I really appreciate it. See if, if you like this video, we'll find out, see if you like any of the other videos I've made. I've been doing this for about one year now, um, coming up on my anniversary in a couple weeks. So it's been super fun going fishing. Anyway, join me on this adventure. We're going to the coast. Talk to you guys soon. All right, I'm in Newport. I'm just pulling up to Stabby Dave's. We're gonna get me some stuff. Got a few little trinkets I need to pick up. So, getting excited. Got a little bit of trouble right when I got into Newport. And, uh, like car trouble so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get home or not I've, my motor uh started overheating in this new little uh little honda civic with 129,000 miles um i'm trying to make that my my little run around for fishing and kind of gave me a little bit of a scare because the temperature gauge all of a sudden started spiking into the top didn't get all the way up or anything and then it came back down in town but had me worried for a second, so I don't know what that means. I'm a little bit more paranoid now. <laughs> Hope I get home all right. Well, everybody, I did get stranded on the side of the road. I'm gonna walk up here to this uh, 148th Street. See if there's anybody there that maybe has some tools I could borrow. Pro tip. Uh, don't take the rattiest, crappiest car that you own fishing somewhere out of town where you get stranded. Hopefully I can uh, not have totally ruined the motor in this car. We'll see. Right. Good, kind person. Nice guy named Jeff. Took care of helping me out a little bit. Just told him I needed some tools. I'm gonna go see if I can take that thing apart. It's overheating and I think the thermostat is being bad. So if I pull that thermostat out, it's gonna run quite a bit cooler. At least I'll take that out of the equation. I think that's what's failing though, so. <laughs> Cross your fingers, everybody, wish me luck. Oh boy, what a day. Let's see if I can do it here. Put a little lot of magic into it, maybe. Maybe I can get myself from being stuck. What a crappy start of a day here. Let's see. So there's the, you can see in there, there's plenty of fluid. The top hose is hot, bottom hose is not. I don't know if it'll work. You gotta be able to get this in here. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Do 
do believe it's a 10 millimeter. I can get to both of them. So I can reach them, that one and that one. I just got to have something to turn this thing. And this is too, I think, get in here. Can't quite get that in there. This is the only thing I can think of that I might be able to do is grab that like that and turn it. I don't know. We'll see. Nope. Not gonna work. Okay, this is a uh, <laughs> looks like a Milwaukee commercial now, guys. I think with this a little bit of an angle, I can get this thing figured out. All right guys, so I was able to get that out and uh, I was able to take out this thermostat might have been the problem, I don't know. I'm gonna try to put it back together. All right guys, we're, I'm running back to Newport. I wanna see, all right, we got some heat coming out of the vents. That's good, that means that the heater core is filling back up. We might be all right. Let's just pray that I didn't ruin the motor running it hot. I'm going to drive to Newport and uh, see if it overreacts or if it has any troubles. If it does, I'm, I'm just going to not worry about this fishing trip, but if it maintains, then I'll have a little more confidence in the, in the car. Alright guys, so I've gone three or four miles. It looks like the heat has stabilized to be about one-fourth of the way up from cold. So normally it runs um, runs about the middle with the thermostat. So not having that thermostat in there is just letting it run colder. So I can live with that. All right. So I'm trying to like make sense of my thoughts here. What do you guys? What would you do if you're me? Would you bag it and just head home and just not push your luck? Or would you go fishing since you're already here at the beach and whatnot? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm here, just gonna keep trying. Uh, I haven't had the, the uh, car go too overheated to staying at middle or less. I did uh, fill up my container with some more water and I'm gonna just see. At least I can go and try to maybe catch a couple fish. Who knows, I might have to have something for dinner. <laughs> have to cook some fish to eat for dinner if I get stuck somewhere. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right guys, we're here. It looks windy too. I have to be careful. Ooh. Rocks that move are not good rocks to stand on.
guys. Let's throw a shrimpy on here and see if we can catch something. This pole. See what we can do here. fun you got the crab thing out a little bit of bait out there put this thing over here where it's not in commission straight down on the point here this little outcropping let's see if I can get a bite part about this fishing is trusting you got something when you do you might have it but you don't believe it so you don't set the hook uh, you can probably fish this most of the day or if you move around maybe maybe there's schools of fish i've got a crab thing i'm going to lift up and check it real quick and i caught a lot of fish right there from right here this whole area is great yeah that's where i would i would fish that yeah i'm not leaving yet i was just going to go check my other stuff Okay, time to check this little crab device out there. I'm gonna reel down on it and kind of halfway set the hook. Ooh, feels pretty heavy. There might be something in it. Uh, we'll see. There's some crabs in it. Ouch. Looks like they're female though. Time. 
Well, we'll see if this purple and black catch a nice little lingcod or something. Never know. Okay, so I've been here for about an hour, maybe not even an hour, maybe 30, 40 minutes or something. <clears throat> Tried some shrimps, doing the swim baits, and not getting anything yet. But you never know when it'll happen, it'll happen, right? That's how it works. And I've caught two crab, both of them are females. I think one of the females is probably a keeper, but you can't keep the girls. Let's check the trap. All right, let's see if we got any keepers this time. Nice and heavy. Probably some more in there. Won't be a big male. Come on, be a big male, guys. Big, big, big old male. Okay, we got a couple crabs. Oh, ho, ho. big rock crab got away. I could have kept him and this female. You guys, that big old uh, female there. Did you go to Stabby Dave's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chris is a good guy. Yeah, you also want to understand how to do this. Yeah. Yeah, because I've come here like three times. I've only taken one fish. Well, maybe, maybe it's just getting about to get good now. He actually came down in one of my videos and sat here and fished with me. It was pretty fun. Yeah, we were killing them right here too. Right, I'm going to try this crab device again. Let's see how we do. It doesn't feel very heavy. Oh, there's a dumb little baby crab in there. That's awesome. Hard time getting out of there, aren't you? <laughs>
got my first male. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It's an actual male. He's not big enough, but at least it's not all females out there. Look at that guy. Blub, 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 blub. <clears throat> He's ready to bite me. All right, we're gonna let you go. All right, guys. Sorry I didn't catch anything. At least I went and tried to fish a little bit, given the fact that I got car trouble. I have no idea if I'm gonna make it home or not. So I'm sure I'll make it home at some point. I've got two legs. But I'm gonna cut it short. I probably could have fished for another hour or two of light, but figured I just want to drive home, get home while it's not dark. So if I do have to walk, it'll be a little easier on me. Maybe easier for somebody who won't pick me up. So, <laughs> okay, so talk to you later. Uh, thanks for watching in. Hit subscribe, hit like, do all that fun stuff for me. Thanks much. All right, guys, we're uh, about a quarter of the way home from Newport <laughs> eating on the way home so there's probably barbecue sauce all over my face but anyway um, kind of see the dash cruising right along I think I'm gonna make it I don't think it's gonna give me any more problems today but you can see that it's a uh, running pretty cool it goes between uh, one quarter of the way up to about halfway and then it kind of fluctuates back and forth so I think I'm good glad you guys are able to enjoy the excitement of uh, car trouble hopefully that, that'll help you guys if you ever get into that situation um, you just need a couple bolts to unscrew and you can take out that thermostat and then it'll just let that stuff flow a little bit better anyway talk to you guys later <laughs>